In this unit, I would like to point out that the laser rate equations we use to model semiconductor lasers are actually a common way to model many other natural phenomena. We will briefly discuss how our laser model relates to the COVID-19 pandemic. We can plot the turn-on behavior of a semiconductor laser with a number of photons on a log scale versus time. In this simulation, I initialized it with zero photons and zero carriers. Initially, spontaneous emission starts the process of turning on the laser. Then the gain provides an exponential growth to these spontaneous emissions. We can see that within a very short amount of time, less than one nanosecond, the number of photons increases by about four or five orders of magnitude. Pandemics can be modeled by rate equations and they show similar turn on behavior. The number of infections follows an exponential growth pattern, just like the laser turn on behavior. In the case of a laser, a single spontaneous emission can turn into a laser having hundreds of thousands of photons. Here, the COVID-19 model pr predicts that thousands to millions of people may become infected if no interventions are applied. Just like in the case of the laser, we see that there can be dynamics in the time domain. In the case of a pandemic, if no government action is taken then there is, and there is no vaccine available, eventually almost everyone will be infected and either die or recover. For those that have been affected and have recovered, there is immunity, and hence the steady state is eventually for the death rate to go to zero. Whereas in our laser solution, the laser stays on because we maintain a constant current injection, so the output power reaches a non-zero steady state. We can compare the laser model with a COVID-19 pandemic. Both show an initial exponential increase, only with different time constants, of either nanoseconds for lasers or several days for the pandemic. What starts off the process is photons generated by spontaneous emission, in the case of a laser, while for the pandemic it is cases imported into the country. The mechanisms for exponential growth are very similar in that they both require interactions between particles. In the laser, photons and electrons interact to provide stimulated emission. In the pandemic, it is human-to-human -human interaction, which take place at home, at school, in the community, and which lead to transmissions. The turnoff approaches are, however, quite different. It is easy to turn off the current in a laser. Within a nanosecond, the laser is off. Unfortunately, it is not so easy to reduce transmission between millions of humans. For those who appreciate solving coupled differential equations, the laser rate equations and the ones used for pandemics are quite similar. Here is a link to an epidemic model including code that extracts the model parameters based on published statistics on the pandemic in various countries.